Hey guys, and welcome to the Igloo today. Don't yeah, mind me being now. sick, but at the okay. same time, When's I'm going line? to try and get this out as much yeah. as I can without yeah. stripping my go? goddamn throat yeah. off. Alright, so, because right, of my experience glitch. that I've had in the military for six years, these are just a few oh, tips shit. that I can tell you that will help in Apex Legends. One of them is to stagger line formation. This is going to be very important when it comes to, like, dropping inside areas in close quarter combat and a few other things. So, you're going to have to worry about, like, just a little bit length that you'd be doing from. Now, if you know that you're about to get into engagement, try to get at least an arc star length away. So that you won't get hit if your first squad leader or whoever's leading the charge when it comes to the person that's setting the tempo for your whole squad to be moving, maneuvering, and getting everything else done. The reason why is that... Well, I mean, you're not going to be very effective if you get arc starred nice. in many different types of situations. Same thing with grenades, same thing in that kind of situation. The reason why you stagger yourself in a line as well is so that you don't get headshotted, okay? There's already been so many montages already of people, like, just double headshotting people and getting that kind of situation. Now, this might not always be pertinent to what you do. Now, this is when you're kind of semi-geared oh and God. you are, like, maybe into your build that you want. Maybe you got that wingman. Maybe you got, like, an R301, an R99. And it, it all depends on what the situation is when it comes to roaming around and getting everything else done. Now, again, at, like, in different types of situations, like, Skulltown is the best example like, let's say, for example, you just dropped onto Skulltown and you really need to loot and scoot as quickly as possible. Like, you're probably going to have to have one person in one lane of Skulltown and one person in another lane of Skulltown and just beeline it to the center so that you can get as much gear as you can possible when you first initially drop. Again, most of these situations are going to be very chaotic, as most BRs are, but you're not going to be always a guaranteed weapon drop when it comes to your loadout that you've been wanting to have in most types of scenarios. Urban environments, of course, are always going to be uniquely different when it comes to it, where it goes to the next topic, which in this game, uh, most people have adapted this honeybee kind of technique where you hover around the squad leader because you don't really have like damage to your opponent, uh, to your friendlies or anything else like that. You have damage to your opponents. I'm just, uh, I'm sick. Uh, don't mind me. So, again, when you're going around and you're honeybeeing around this squad leader, you want to make sure that you are focus firing to where your squad leader is shooting more so than where your immediate target is because the more oh, than you can get at anything handy. else down at one time, the less fire is going to be coming to your overall team. Now, this might change within a moment. This might be a reflex that you might be doing to shoot somebody else while you're engaging. But the more of this, the moral of the story is that you have to be shooting the same target as much as you can as possible because just like in Halo 3, no, I didn't play Halo 4 and Halo 5. Okay, because I, I just didn't like it. I mean, I, I watched people like play the campaign, but that's pretty much it. But when you are dealing with that kind of stuff, you have to be dealing with people that are always in shield. Always assume somebody has a level 3 shield and just There's two bullet them. drain two. into them and make sure that they are down as quickly as possible. You might even kill them in, because you're shooting them so fast with all that kind of select fire just, right onto one way. target. Only saw two. Again... If you are very coordinated, you're going to have a lot of team kills this way, and you're going to be having your survivability go through the roof. If you're aiming for wins, this is one of the most effective ways, especially in an urban Wait, environment. No lining up on a wall or whatever. It's mainly uh, just honey being yeah, around the person that's the squad leader, hopping we'll around and easily. getting everything else done, because that's how the game is playing. Now, there's another way that you can be doing, especially Man, in open fields, and that's and the wedge formation. So what you want to do is you want to have your squad leader in front, okay? And then you need to be at least an arc star length away so that you don't get uh, murked that, when it comes to most of this situation. Yeah, you might be He's crossing an open right field, but at the same time, you're not going to be arc starred, like, just... Wait, was he right there? next to your friend and you got to remember that arc stars stick so the minute that go. somebody gets stuck by an arc star you have to immediately bolt out from that direction 
And then the easiest way to bolt from somebody that got ox arc start is pretty much just go a completely different direction from that person that was stuck. And the easy way to do that is for somebody to be in a wedge formation. Now the reason why I don't say that it's a stagger line formation that you can possibly be doing is because that means you have to force one person to go forward if they get stuck in the middle and one person to go backward. Making that two to three second timer away from the rest of your team Shit, very effective when it comes no to splitting to you guys up and getting a 3v1 situation that be highly probable in most of your Where situations when you're engaging into another squad inside Apex yeah. Legends. You got to remember that you're going to have to be moving back and forth, no, 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 I gotta, at I making gotta sure this. that you can 3v1 a group as much as you can because that's pretty much what you need to do if you 3v1 a group as much as you can you will have victory in every sense now you might be having those 2v3 situations you might be having that kind of right. different setup but Shit. again if you focus fire as much on one target as you possibly can yeah. you will come out more so than any other person in a victory. Uh, yeah, you might be complaining about kill stealing or anything else, but at the end of the day, oh, does kill shit. stealing as much matter when it comes to making sure that you play together and you have fun? Now, yeah. I'm gonna tie into solo queuing with this. So you might be oh, solo queuing probably in a Discord if you're on PC to the Apex Fuck. server, or if you're on Xbox and PS4, you can still be able to talk to people online with their microphones more so. I don't I don't this say as on. much when it comes to PC How because have people have pushed to talk as well as some people are just really antisocial. I can probably say the same for, for consoles as well, but they seem to talk more, be more communicative with uh, the parties that be. So when you are solo queuing, especially on PC for what I can say, is that read the situation, see what how the dynamic is see if everybody's solo queue or if there is a group of two and they're in a discord and you're trying to talk to them or something else like that and you and you find a tempo for the whole group dynamic because whenever you get injected into just forcibly playing with two other people you got to read the room you got to make sure that you read the situation and get everything else done now you're always going to have that one person that's going to be completely brain dead or they're super new to the game or something else like that. You might need that yeah, like hand hold like both of those people and then bring them along and say, stay at least two um, to three to seconds away, away and make cover. sure that you don't have a goldfish mindset. Like you're going to be having a few of those people I that go will here. be having those goldfish mindsets, especially if they're new at this game and you want to get a win. You're still going to need those people as much as possible when it comes to... Even if they hit their shots like half the time and they don't down that person, that means that person has no shield, okay? So it at least makes it effective enough when it comes to group select firing that it becomes a very fun kind of play style when you're honey being around people in most of these kind of regards because you're not going to expect people when you're solo queuing to just be like, hey, form a wedge. Hey, like, stay in line, but stagger. Like, people people don't have that type of attention span when it comes to this. So, just be like this. Hey, stay two to three seconds away from me. You're going to have to slide a lot, whether you are hitting control or whatever you have on Xbox or PS4, so that you can always be momentum-based. And you have to explain to them and everything else that... This is going to require a lot of coordination when it comes to team shots. Again, solo shooting somebody is not going to help, especially if they're new and they can't land their shots. Okay, that that is just very, very important in this type of situations. And yeah, you it might be more effective for you go around and flank with a certain kind of legend operator or whatever you want to call it and you want to make sure that you get the flank on that one full team and you pinch them from both sides so they have to force their fire to fire two different ways you're still 3v1ing but you're also achieving a flank as well again it really does depend on the situation the group dynamic and a bunch of other things when it comes to this especially because apex legends has a wide variety of environments as well as cover and different areas of open pastures as well as mechanical pastures and urban environments 
Again, if you guys like this kind of stuff, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, and have a good one, guys.